Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to show you how to use alcohol 120 or alcohol 120%, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's just let's get into it. So just open up alcohol. Um, it loaded pretty fast, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, um, so you'll come up with this screen right here. Um, all this, you have a blank space. Image making, this is, uh, so, um, let's see. Image making, you would, uh, read it from a DVD, and then it would uh, just make the ISO file. Image burning is when you have an ISO file and you can burn it onto a disk. Copy wizard is just for duplicating disks. Image finder, I guess you could find images. Hopefully you already know where your images are saved though. DVD, CD manager, uh, that's just to see your drive specifics and crap like that. Um, erase wizard, just, yeah, for erasing disks. An extra wizard. I don't really know what this does. You could probably figure it out. I never use it. But mainly what I use alcohol for is the virtual drive. So you open it up and click virtual drive. And then you'll get this. Um, none of this matters over here, usually. Um, but all you want to do is click on the number of virtual drives. I just set it to one because that's usually all you need. If you need like two disks at a time, um, then just do two, however many you want. I really doubt you would need 31, but that's an option. I'm just going to set it to one. Um, leave these unchecked and press OK. Now you'll have this, um, the, dr the drive uh, letter will probably be different for you because I have so many drives. I have like two hard drives. Um, USB drive and uh, optical drive, but it'll probably be something like D or E. Mine's F, so it doesn't really matter though. Anyway, right click on it and click mount image. And you want to browse to wherever you save your image. I just have um, ISO file on my desktop just for this demonstration. And then it'll open in autoplay or whatever you want. See, there it is right there. But it'll open in autoplay and then you'll have that right here this doesn't matter you can just press X right there and then you really don't need to open alcohol ever again because now what it's done is it's created a drive right here in your in your my computer space and so you could either go in and look at the the contents of the disk and then do whatever and then you can just press eject or unmount image and then you'll just have this BD-ROM, which means um, it can, it's just, it acts like a Blu-ray drive. So, yeah, you can uh, burn Blu-ray discs, whatever, but it's actually just for mounting, because then you right-click it, click Mount Image, find wherever it is, Desktop, um, ISO, and there you go. And you really don't need to, um, you don't need to run alcohol anymore unless you were going to add a drive or just get rid of this drive completely but I just keep it there because it's a lot more convenient than opening alcohol and doing all this crap and yeah so that's that's my tutorial on uh, using alcohol 120 uh, thanks for watching